buenos días. Welcome, bienvenidos. I'm the superintendent of schools here in Long Branch, Michael Salvatore. Yo soy el superintendente de escuelas, Michael Salvatore. Hoy mi objetivo es ayudar y educar. Quiero ayudar a informarles de los cambios que están ocurriendo en nuestro país. Esta información proporcionada a los miembros de nuestra comunidad con grandes oportunidades. Now I'd like to welcome, bienvenidos, Board of Education member Lucy Perez. Thank you for coming. Gracias. Bienvenido, Congressman Frank Pallone. Thank you very much, and I Muchas have to have somebody translate for me. Unfortunately, I wish I spoke Spanish or Portuguese, but I don't. No hablo español o portugués. I wanted to say that the reason I came this morning is because I believe that the Deferred Action Program uh, is very significant and hopefully just the beginning of what needs to be done uh, in Congress. In Congress. I think many of you know that in Congress, um, Congress, many of us have supported the Dream Act, hemos el, uh, el which is Dream legislation que that would um, provide that younger people que le da a, a, actually would jóvenes, have a pathway to citizenship. Una para but we were not able to get enough votes to pass that lograr, uh, and get it signed into law. Para pasar esa ley. And so what the President, what President Entonces, Obama did, el, el President Obama hizo, was to issue an executive order es within his dar power un, un orden ejecutivo de adentro de su poder without congress sin congreso that allows for the deferred action acción de farido that we're discussing today que estamos hablando hoy the advantage of that La is that young people es que don't get deported or removed from no the United States de los Estados Unidos and they're able to work here or go to school pueden here trabajar o ir o estudiar legally legalmente but it's a very limited um, limitado. status es un status muy limitado. because there still is no Porque pathway to citizenship no hay una dirección para recibir and we could only ciudadanía. achieve that by passing solo the Dream Act con, con pasando el, el Dream Act en Congreso. because only the Congress, not Porque the President, Congreso, no can president confer citizenship. Puede dar ciudadanía. What we really need, of course, in the Lo long que run en el tiempo largo, is a pathway to citizenship for es una manera para the 10 or 12 million people who are here undocumented. Aquí, sin permiso. Not just the children, no solo los niños, but the adults, pero los adultos también. and anyone who's been y here for a period of time, que está aquí por bastante tiempo, who's paid their taxes, que pagaron sus impuestos, who hasn't gotten in trouble with the law, que no tuvieron ningún problema con la ley, and who's learned English. Y que aprendieron inglés. That's the ultimate goal. E, e, ese es lo que queremos lograr últimamente. A pathway to citizen not just for young people but for everyone. No, no solo para los niños, pero para todos. But we're not there yet. Pero no estamos ahí todavía. So what we're doing today, and I'm not going to explain the details, is very limited. But I don't want to take away from the significance of it. Because I know that even you as parents or grandparents, ustedes como padres o, o, o abuelos, even if you can't have a pathway to citizenship, si ustedes no pueden recibir a ciudadanía, you'd certainly like uh, your, your, your uh, children or grandchildren to at least o nietos, be able por lo to menos, work or join trabajar, or, or uh, go to college and not have to worry no uh, that they uh, could be uh, deported. Ser deportado. So I want to say, I know you're going to listen Entonces, to what the lawyers and the others say today. But I wanted to mention that Pero I have an office in Long Branch. Yo tengo una oficina aquí en Long Branch on Broadway. In Broadway. At 504 Broadway. Uh, 504 Broadway. And if you have any additional y questions si about this preferred action, sobre esta acción de you, you can stop by our office, oficina, and you don't have to worry about uh, no you know, right, your identity because you're sobre there. Tu si estás allá. And uh, I'm not going to stay for the whole y, morning. Y, you know, we're going to stay for the whole morning. But Alex Maldonado, who's over there, come a little closer, Alex. <laughs> que está por allá. 
Ella está en cargo de mi oficina en New Brunswick, pero ella es de Long Branch. Y ella tiene citas aquí en Long Branch, en nuestra oficina. Si tienes otras preguntas, y ella también habla español. Si tú todavía tienes preguntas y necesitas ayuda después de, esto, de, después de hoy, puede hablar con nosotros. You can always call on us. No puede llamar a nosotros. And we're very proud because both of us graduated from Long Branch High School. Y nosotros dos nos graduamos de Long Branch High School.